Alright, gonna show you the Catholic control of both the House and the Senate in the United States. So here's Wikipedia, and before I say, oh, Wikipedia, they give all their sources at the bottom of the article. Uh, here is a Wikipedia article on the religious affiliation of the United States Senate. Uh, while religious preference by elected officials by no means an indi indication of their allegiance are necessarily... Yeah, right. I mean, Catholics are first, first allegiance to Rome and then to their home country. Uh, or necessarily reflective of their voting record. The religious affiliation of prominent members of, of all three branches of government is a source of commentary and discussion among the media and public. So let's see. Who, what is the religious affiliation of the United States Senate? So... Uh, generic Protestants, 5 seats, Baptists, 11 seats, Methodists, 10 seats, Episcopalians, 4 seats, Lutherans, 6 seats, uh, Presbyterians, 14 seats, other Christians, uh, 10 seats, Roman Catholics, 22 seats, Latter-day Saints, Mormons, uh, Latter-day Satan is what I call them, uh, 4 seats, Jews, 8 seats, Buddhists, 1 seat, and unaffiliated, probably atheists, 5 seats. Look at that, Roman Catholics, 22 seats. So they have more seats than anyone else in the United States Senate. Hmm, interesting. What about the House of Representatives? It says here, you know, same thing as the last thing, it doesn't necessarily reflect their voting record. But uh, Christians, Un unspecified Protestants, 69 seats, Baptists, 60 seats, Methodists, 33 seats, Episcopalians, 22 seats, Lutherans, 19 seats, Presbyterians, 13 seats, non-denominational Protestants, 7 seats, uh, other Christians, 11 seats. Roman or Eastern Catholics, 137 seats. 137. That's that's more than everyone else. And the, uh, you know, the, the Christian, quote-unquote Christians, because most of these guys are not Christians. Uh, Latter-day Saints, 6 seats. Orthodox Christians, 5 seats. Um, uh, Jews, 26 seats. Muslims, 3 seats. Hindus, 3 seats. Unitarian Universalists, three, 2 seats. Buddhists, 1 seat. Unknown, refused to state, 13 seats. Uh, unaffiliated, one seat. 137 for Roman Catholics. Um, this lines up, you know, obviously, you know, I've said it before, the Roman Catholic Church controls America. The Jesuits and the Catholic Church, they run America. That's how it goes. But let me show you what the Bible says about this. Uh, Revelation 17, 18, And the woman which thou sawest was that is that great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth. The Roman Catholic Church, they reign over the kings of the earth. They run the earth. So they don't give them this thing of, oh, well, they've lost the power. Oh, no, they, they run the earth. Again, uh, and by the way, the woman which thou sawest is that great city, Vatican City, you know, very, very simple. You know, just a, a basic person can understand that the Roman Catholic Church, just reading Revelation 17, how it identifies Mystery of Babylon, you, I mean, the only person, the people with discernment would come up with the, come to the conclusion that the Roman Catholic Church is Mystery of Babylon and that it reigns over the kings of the earth. So, just wanted to get that out there. The Catholic Church, the Jesuits, they completely control America. Uh, no doubt about that. I mean, Trump himself, he's Jesuit trained. Mike Pence is Jesuit trained. And according to the Jesuits' own standards, if you're Jesuit trained, then you're a part of the Jesuit family. So, it's perfectly, it's perfectly righteous, and not righteous, but right, to say that Trump is a Jesuit because he is tra uh, trained at a Jesuit university, and uh, the Jesuits, they completely control America. They control the House and the Senate. So, don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism, and don't be deceived by people who say that, oh, it's America, that's Mystery Babylon. Here's the funny thing, if America is Mystery Babylon, then the rulers are still Roman Catholics, because the House and, and Senate are majority Catholics. So, don't be deceived. God bless you. Goodbye.